don't play play with AI today. If you think AI have not impact your work, think twice or think thrice. Because today I'm going to show you three ways that people are already using it to boost their work productivity. If you work in a company and you communicate a lot using emails or you are using a lot of Excel, right? Then you want to watch this video till the end because the third method will going to blow your mind. Go to Microsoft Bing, right? Which is bing.com. And then you can see here, follow my mouse, that's chat. Click on the chat. So it will bring you to the Bing chat, which is the AI equivalent or even better than the free chat GPT that you are using. So when you come over here, basically all you need to key in your question or instruction or this is called prompt. Okay, so let me paste the prompt that I write down the same time. So basically I want to show you that if you want to write a lot of emails, okay, here you can instruct it to write an email to ask my supplier for corrective action on the recent high rejects found in our warehouse receiving department. Ask me for further information if needed. Now you got to treat this AI like it's your assistant. Yeah, so give it an instruction and then if they're not clear, ask them to ask you question. So let's see how it comes up. All right, so now you can see that it's starting to write your email. So you don't have to crack your head on how to write an email and so on. Yeah, so basically it will help you to write like dear supplier. So you just go and copy. You don't have to copy and I mean send it directly, but you can copy it. At least it gives you some ideas, you see. So all you need is copy here to your email and then adjust it or correct it. I mean, as for your situation, okay? I'm writing to inform you that the warehouse receiving department has recently experienced a high number of rejects due to what, blah, blah, blah. We have identified root cause of the issues and believe that it's related to the quality of products we're receiving from your company. We appreciate if you could take a blah, 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 investigate the root cause, the problem, implement corrective action, provide us with a plan, how it will ensure, okay? Please let me know if you require any further information and thank you for your attention. All right, your name. Now, how great is that? It just takes like less than a minute, right? Just a few seconds to draft this for you. And you don't have to crack your head. Now, of course, you can add on with all the information that you found to make this more valid. But it saves you, I believe, easily more than 60% of your time. So what do you think? Now, this is only one way, right? Writing an email, of course, I'm just writing here because I used to be a supply chain manager. And so this is related to the warehouse inventory you can write basically any business emails that you want next is that usually what we have in the business communication especially if you do international business you will tend to work with people from different countries so if they send you an email or you are cc in an email in a different language let me show you how great is these tools okay now instead of you have to copy sometimes you just got a screenshot to your whatsapp or whatever right so just screenshot it Okay, let me show you here. Now, I'm going to, let's say, click on new topic. Okay, chat, and then I'm going to add an image. So I'm going to upload this image that I already have it, download it earlier. So now this is an email, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this and then I say that translate the following document to English, right? Now I want to translate to any language, it's totally up to you, okay? So let me show you translate to English. Now this is the document and it didn't specify that this is in French, yeah? So I just simply go and get a screenshot of French uh, email and then it will, I mean, I don't even copy it out, right? It's, a, it's a, just an image, right? You can attach your JPEG file, uh, PNG file, anything. Now you can see that it already translated to English from French. Okay, so please excuse my exams. So how great is that, right? Now you want to translate this into other language, by all means you can do that as well, right? Let's say you want to translate or you want to forward this to uh, another of your colleague, let's say a other documents, into so you're going to send it to your colleague in China, Chinese. Okay, simplify Chinese. All 
All right, so on the bin chat, I mean, I'm able to communicate in Chinese right now. So, so here, basically, it already translates to Chinese, right? So all you need to do is that, just copy this, and then you can forward it to your colleague in China. I mean, just in case you need to do that, right? So how easy is that today? You don't need to learn. I mean, to me, you don't need to learn any foreign language right now. What do you think? So let me know in the comment area whether this is helpful or not. Okay. Now, stay and watch. The third one will be more interesting, right? I think it will go and blow up your mind if you have not used it before. Okay. Right now, I'm in Google Sheet. Not Excel, but Google Sheet, right? And this is a free account, yeah? Just go to Google Sheet. It's equivalent to Microsoft Excel. So what I'm going to do over here, so if you look at this spreadsheet, right? On the right-hand side here, yeah? Which is just introduced recently. I just found out recently, maybe like last month, yeah? Then here, help me to organize. This is basically the AI or your AI assistant to help you create your spreadsheet. So here, let's put it, give him a prompt, okay? So right, right over here saying create an inventory tracking, right? Where I can track the on-hand inventory, sales separated by dates, and the balance inventory. Now, if you give him more information, you will create a better spreadsheet for you or spreadsheet templates that you can use rather than you start and build it from blank, right? So let's see how it works out. Now, within like seconds, okay, it actually created all this for you. Uh, you feel that hey this is good enough yeah then you just insert it and there you go you got your templates now of course you can insert extra column and man i mean you can move it around yeah and edit as you want but at least it gives you the basic structure and you don't have to start from scratch so how good is that i want you to go and try it and test it out according to what your job functions right what you usually use excel for and try to learn how to use this AI to help you build uh, Excel fast. AI today is getting smarter and smarter, and we should use it to help boost our work productivity or work performance rather than we reject them. Now, these are the three things that I see most people are using it right now at work, but there are a lot other more, like if you want the AI to help you brainstorm new ideas to your certain problems or automate your routine works, tasks, and many others. If you like this video, share it with your colleague or your teams. And if you want to know what other functions that AI can help you to boost your work performance, and I will find out for you. By the way, I'm Andrew. And if you like this type of work productivity content, do subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when I publish the new content, you will be notified. And I'll see you real soon in my next video.